Hey everybody, this is Clover, and I'm back again playing some Earthbound, where we left off last time. We uh, went to uh, we went through the deepest darkness, and uh, after completing uh, Dungeon Man, and uh, here we are at the end. Uh, now it is on to uh, your, it is on to uh, the next part, which is Tenda Village. We're shy. Aww. We're shy. Uh-oh. Is anybody gonna talk to me? In the hole we have, uh... In the hole, in we have free stay? Sure. Yay! He let me stay for free! Ooh. Well, that's a very, uh, sparse inn. What does the sign say? Hotel here. We're shy. Aww. We're shy. Hot springs. Good all over. Ooh, I haven't had a hot springs in a long time. I don't think we have any status effects that we can cure. Um. Resting well in the hot spring healed you. Yay. Did, did anything change? No. I don't think so, at least. Okay. Uh, item shop here. We're shy. Aw. Well, I'm not getting any items from you, am I? We're shy. Shy, that we are. There's only one Tenda who's not shy. It's me, Bubby! You know what? There's something scary that comes from the underground, so we covered up the hole. There are a lot of di lots of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I came right back because I was so surprised. There was a lot, a uh, talking stone that talks a lot. Do you want to go and see? I understand, but I'm not as strong as I look. Sar, I'm sorry. I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversation skills. Conversation skills. Apparently I lack conversation skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. Oh, okay. Shy that we are. I guess because he's strong, we can give him a big burly voice. Shy that we are. Aw, oh, look at the little uh, one-up mushrooms. And what about you? We're shy. Oh, look at this dude with the little horns. We're all shy. Rumor. I heard it. a uh, book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Aw, okay. <laughs> I like his little mustache, too. Okay, and then down over here, we got so many things. We got a telephone. What is this? Weird junk. Uh, what is this? No problem here. And then over here, I think. Nesto around in the trash can? Well, let's see here. There's a death ray inside. Who takes it? Yes, so death ray is a, a, um, an item for Jeff. Does Jeff have room, though? No. Casey bat. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Pooh. And then, okay. And then Pooh, uh, Give the death ray to Jeff. Give to Jeff. Yes, thank you. And then, Jeff, you can equip the death ray. Nope, oh, no, not Ness. Yeah. So, Crusher Beam, uh, offense of 126, death ray to 144. Very nice. Um, can't really sell anything as of yet. Uh... Can I use the computer? No problem here. No. Okay. I guess that's a TV. Uh, but let's uh, let's call S Cargo Express so we can drop some stuff. Oh wait, no. I think S Cargo Express is full up. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part time for S Cargo Express. What can I do? Delivery. What would you like us to deliver? We can deliver up to three things. Okay. Let's finally use the for sale sign. I don't need anything else. Yes, that is correct. Thank you. Okay, and once we, uh, once they deliver the for sale sign, we can start selling some things. So lucky coin. We have a lot of lucky coins. Diamond band, talisman ribbon. Okay, maybe I could sell some of the lucky coins. Does Pooh have a lucky coin? No. So let's actually give Pooh a lucky coin. Uh, from Paula, give to Pooh. I don't even know if I'll be able to equip it, but let's see. Uh, other lucky coin. 
Uh, lowers defense significantly. Well, that stinks. All right, well, no lucky coin for him then. <sighs> Should I just sell my lucky coins? At least the ones that I'm not using. Uh, is Jeff using a lucky coin? Uh, yes, Jeff has a lucky coin. All right, so I think I'm gonna sell the remaining lucky coins, the crusher beam, and that should be about it. Um, and then you, this might be a good time to uh, to try and get rid of some items from S Cargo Express, uh, clear up our inventory a little bit there. Uh, so yeah, let's let's see what happens. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's use uh, the for sale sign. I'll use the for sale sign. A customer is headed this way. Are they? Yes. I saw your sign, so I thought I'd stop by. What are you peddling? Okay, uh, let's sell a lucky coin. 3,000, sure. Well, I guess we're gonna have to use this each time. Oh well. Um hopefully hopefully I'm not making a stupid choice by uh by um selling the uh the the uh lucky the lucky um the lucky coins. Uh what have you got for sale? Another lucky coin which I gave to Pooh, right? Um well we could sell the crusher beam. If Jeff allows me to sell it. Okay. Yes. Sweet. Got a lot of, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of money now. Um. Oh, and now I would assume, I would assume, I hope I'm not wrong, I would assume that I can also sell the piggy nose. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Okay. I'm plum tuckered out, what have you got for sale? Pooh, you can sell the lucky coin. Uh, yes. That sounds good. Thank you, buddy. Okay. I'm just gonna stock up on... I'm gonna get rich. I know I've already been rich this entire game, but it's time to time to get more rich. Magic Truffle. Uh, Flame Pendant. Can't remember if... I think Flame Pendant also, uh... Well, let's see. Uh... Oop. Uh, equip. Does Flame Pendant do anything for you, Pooh? No, you can't even equip it. Wait, can you equip it? Flame Pendant. It lowers your defense. Okay. Uh, so let's sell Flame Pendant also. Goods. Uh, for sale sign. Sorry that you all have to sit through this. Um, got the for sale sign. Okay. Yes. Let's sell the piggy nose. Just get rid of it. 150. Yes. And then, I mean, worst case, if I do need the piggy nose again, uh, we can also uh, just go back to Delam or whatever it is. Uh, not Delam. Wherever I, wherever I got the, uh, wherever I got the, the, um, wherever I got the, uh, the, the, the uh, pig nose the first time. Okay. Customer is heading this way. I wish the customers bought more than one item. That would really make this much more expeditious enterprise. Uh, flame pendant. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, and then let's uh, call Escargo Express and see what we can take out. Uh, okay, uh, let's call Escargo Express. Big bro, it's me. Okay, great. Delivery. Yes. Okay. Uh, Suporma picture postcard we could sell. Uh, backstage pass I would assume we can sell. Uh, bad key machine we already used, so we should be able to sell that. Um, and then we got all this stuff. Me. Okay, so let's try selling picture postcard, backstage pass, and bad key machine and see what happens. Uh, yes. Uh, backstage pass. Yes. 
And then a uh, bad key machine. Yes. And hopefully there's not some bizarre situation in the in the game where they allow me to sell all these things that are going to ruin my progression of the game. Would not be surprised, but I don't think that is the case. All right, thank you. Yes. Okay, and then Paula. Let's use that uh, for sale sign. Use customer's heading this way. I saw your signs. What are you peddling? Uh, picture postcard. How about one dollar? Sure. Okay. And then goods, Paula, for sale sign. Use. Yes. I don't know if like if it's worthwhile hanging on to the hanging on to the Franklin badge longer than I have already. Uh, but um, I don't know. Uh, it has been useful, very useful comparatively. So uh, let's sell backstage pass. OK, don't think I could buy that. Great. What about bad key machine? Oh, uh, bad key machine. Nope, can't buy that either. Man, the, the, that's just... That's just... It's so ridiculous that that there, that there are items that you have to hold on to the entire game. I don't... I don't get it. It... it there's no point to it, man. Alright, Escargo Express. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna sell... Uh... Store something. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, and I'm only going to do one more round of this because I know this is taking up a lot of time uh, and this might not be the most fun thing to watch. Um, uh, which, you know, you would expect the game to resolve that situation for you, right? Uh, you can cover the bill, yes. What do you want me to take? Okay. You could take a backstage pass. Yes, there will be other things. You can take... Uh, um, uh, bad key machine. Yes. Uh, is there anything else I want to sell? I feel like I should get rid of the, n oh, the Casey bat. Yeah. Not the, I want to give the Casey bat to, uh, to, yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay, and then, uh, you know what, that's, I think that's enough, enough, uh, there. So, we've done everything that we can do here, uh, in, uh, Tenda, or whatever it's called. Um, uh, so, now it's time to, uh, ooh, nice, thank you, Dad. I have so much money. <laughs> um, record. Hooray, hurrah. Thank you. Uh, great, yes, thanks, Dad. And then, uh, let's call mom just to make sure, uh, yeah, okay, well, I'm not gonna get, uh, I'm not gonna get, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm not gonna get homesick. Uh, but, uh, yes, so I've done everything I can do here, uh, time to head on to next section. What is that, a phone call? Hello, it's been a while since we talked, this is Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Andernut's lab in Winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. Huh? What's happening? Hey! Oh no! What are you doing to me? Who are you? Click. Oh no! Ness, I haven't talked with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying that he was going to see Dr. Andonuts in Winters, and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. Uh, making me feel uh, sympathy for, for um, Orange Kid. I'm also working, on my, uh, working hard on my invention, so I hope you'll understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Click. Well, seems like he's much less of a jerk than he used to be, which is nice. All right. So now let's see if we can teleport 
to, uh, oh, no, PSI. Uh, let's see if we could, Pooh has teleport B, right? I mean, I don't think it's going to make a difference, uh, but let's try to use teleport A. Uh, and let's go to, look at all these places I could go. I could go to Scaraba, I could go to Deep Darkness, I could go to Tenda Village. All right, very cool. So I won't have to worry about teleporting back to places. Hopefully, if I can get the room. But here we go. Let's test it out. No. Nope. Uh, all right. I might need to use. Oh, is that a tree that's gonna? Yep. Okay. Hostile elder oak. Eesh. Well, we know all of the fun I've had with trees in this game. Alright, just for safety's sake, let's do Fire Gamma. Jeff, you can use your Heavy Bazooka. Okay, and then Pooh. Uh, should we just use Star Storm? Uh, I think that might be the best solution here. I don't wanna... Okay. E. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. 280. And burst into flames. Darn it. Oh, man. That's just such a ridiculous, overpowered thing. A viper. A thing I don't need. Yay. All right. Okay. Can we do... I'm just uncertain of where I can do the, the teleport B... Maybe we should, uh, I mean, I think we're going to have to fight this guy no matter the case, but yeah. This this should hopefully give us some some room to do teleport B. Uh, Alright, let's have you do that. Paula, you can use uh, Beta. Uh, Jeff, you can use your Heavy Bazooka. And then Pooh, you can also use Freeze Beta. Let's see how that works. Okay... Freeze beta, eh, 126, not great. Uh, 490 from uh, from Paul, uh, from from Ness, so that's great. All right. Now, hopefully, this provides us with enough room to do our uh, our um, our uh, what's it called? Our um, our teleport beta. Let's see. Uh, to, uh, Winters. Oh, okay. Meh, sorry. The, the monkey screwed me up. I felt, uh, I, last time I, uh, I, uh, they, they did the little running around in a circle thing, and I forgot how teleport beta works. Um, to Winters. Still a ridiculous amount of space required to do that. All right, and here we are in Winters. All right, who's this guy? Jeff, long time no see. You've gotten taller. Oh, I don't have time to chat right now. Tony's missing. I thought he was with you. He suddenly disappeared. He's usually very responsible and leaves a note at least. It's me again, that chewing gum monkey's wife. My husband left me here to go play with Tessie along with the shores of Lake Tess. Aw. Now, uh, last time I was here, the stuff was too expensive for me to afford, but now I've got so much more money. Is there anything worth getting? Coin of Silence. Nah. Okay, well. That's fine. Uh, let's call Dad. Save. Great, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Dad. I'm super rich. Yes, please record. Um, uh, and continue. Yes, thank you. Okay. Sorry, the bubblegum is sold out. Is it cold outside? Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So I'm going to speculate that I have to go the same, the same way I had to go uh, when we left, uh, when we left the... Um, the um, boarding school. Uh, so, yeah. Let's continue on. We have to go to Dr. Andernuts's lab. Uh, so we'll need to, to go back to, to Tessie, I think. Oh. 
Well, thank goodness I turned in time. All right, uh, hopefully, hopefully I'm a little better off than last time when we got into a fight in, in, uh, in, um, in, what's it called? Uh, in Winters. The, the enemies were super strong, but hopefully, uh, hopefully this'll, this'll at least allow me to, to, you know, to, to be a little bit successful. Let's see. Okay, Fire B does nothing. Okay. Heavy Bazooka, nice. Well, not that nice. How does Freeze do? Okay, Freeze is pretty good. And then Ness, can you... Nope. Eesh. Well, thank goodness, uh... Thank goodness Poo dodged. Alright, um... So, Freeze is gonna be the way to go. Uh, let's do Goods. Heavy Bazooka. And then PSI, Freeze. Let's see how that goes. Nice. Okay. And we gained a bunch of EXP for as useful as that will be. Okay. Nothing that way. So I'm not going to use the uh, I'm not going to use the fire attacks um, on these guys uh, because, as we saw, they weren't particularly useful. Um, let's just try and distribute the damage as best as we can. Uh, goods. Jeff, you could use your heavy bazooka. And poo, you can use freeze on the woolly shambler. And hopefully, that will at least take care of one of them. No. So, lesser mook. Lesser mook is not weak to, to, um, to ice. Okay, Ness is crying, and Jeff's cr Okay, everybody's crying. All right, let's see what we could do. Ugh. Yay, thank goodness. That was a stupid move on my part. But fortunately... Fortunately, Ness landed a hit. Uh, is everybody still crying? No, everybody's good. Okay, continuing on. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wooly Shambler and Mook. Mookie dude. All right. Uh, ba no, Bash. Why would I do that? Uh, Paula. Let's do Fire. Okay. Jeff. Uh, let's use your Heavy Bazooka. And then, Poo, you can use Freeze Beta on the Woolly Shambler. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Nice. Okay, not terrible. Nice. Very nice. Nice. All right, cool. All right, so I think we got the solution for those two guys down. All right. Now, there was, um, there was a tent with, uh, with guys who let you restore the last time we were here. Let's see if that's still the case. Outside, there are many monsters I've never seen before. I wonder what's happening here. You should stay here and save if you don't mind. Yep. So why don't you rest here for a short while? I have something to drink. Perhaps some tea. All right. <laughs> Friendly people in Earthbound. Alas. Okay. Very nice. Oh, the music was cute in there. Um, yeah, the pathing on the on the on these enemies is so weird, where it just like it shoots back and forth. It's always hard to figure out where they're gonna go. Okay, lesser mook and that dude. So let's uh, lesser mook does the status effects. So let's avoid that as best we can. Paula, you could do your uh, your fire beta. Uh, Jeff, let's have you do Heavy Bazooka. And then Poo, you can do uh, Freeze to uh, Whirling Robo. And let's see how that works out. I don't think we did uh, Freeze to Whirling Robo last time. Uh, nice. That did plenty of damage. Okay, cool. Mook was defeated, and Whirling Robo was destroyed. How are we doing on PP? Oh, well, I mean, I just rested, so it should be okay. Poo went up. Nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, nice. Oh, sweet. That's a that's a pretty big jump in uh, 
in PP, which is pretty nice. Uh, 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 uh. That was a ballsy move of me to, to get into a fight with three things. All right. Uh, you do that annoying stuff, so let's let's handle you. Fire. Let's use fire gamma just to see if we can if we can try and take care of it. Jeff, you can land a heavy bazooka on the whirling robo. Hopefully that'll do enough damage. And then um, Pooh, you could do freeze, and hopefully on the whirling uh, on the whirling robo. Okay. Fire gamma. How does that do? Thirteen. 86, 190, okay. Not great, but still okay. Okay. There we go. Fired a beam, dodged quickly. Now let's just try and lay on physical damage. And hopefully that should take it out. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, this annoying jerk face. Uh, he was fire, I believe. Okay. Um, Jeff. Let's use heavy bazooka again. And then Poo. I mean, let's just do mirror with Poo, because, you know, might as well. Okay. Uh... Who took a deep breath, could not turn into Lesser Mook. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Nice. Okay, we just keep climbing. Okay, continuing on. Uh, I forget what's over here. I think this might be an empty tent. Eh, no problem here. And then, yeah, can't do anything here. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Oh, and then there's another one. Sebastian Chum was kidnapped. It's so shocking. He was such a great guy. Yeah, thank you, Magic Mushroom. Magic Mushroom. Magic Butterfly. I've got something else on the mind, apparently. Do you think Sebastian's kidnapping will uh, be in tomorrow's paper? I don't know. Maybe. It's always possible. I finally saw Tessie. It's like seeing a UFO. It emerged from the lake and flew towards Stonehenge. It kidnapped one of my friends along the way. Well, we know Tessie isn't a kidnapper, so uh, something else was going on. Where are you, my friend? They came and took you away. Come back, Sebastian. Hey, that's a haiku poem. Oh, that's sweet. What's this guy say? I'm the cook for Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? Yes. No, no, there's no need to pay me. Aw, oh, how nice. Give me a little restoration, and then I can go call Dad and once again save. Because you know how I feel about the saving. Well, I also think that is a good time to call it for today. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Please come check me out on all the socials. That's TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, those fun places. I do silly little videos there. Uh, and I'm releasing uh, Metroid Dread videos right now as well on the channel on Wednesday. So come check those out. Uh, come if this is your first time on this video, uh, come or on you know the first video of mine you've seen. Come check out my uh, check out my other videos on the channel. I played a couple of games so far and uh, had a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, come check out uh, those videos. Come comment, come subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm almost at that 500 subscriber mark and at 500 subscribers, I will be doing my first ever live stream. So please come check me out, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining guys.